<sighs> Greetings everyone. Well, today we continue on with the cartoon DVD updates. Uh, a few more sale items that I picked up in the past couple weeks. So let's get right to it today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Alrighty, well the first two we're going to talk about here are uh, a few more that I found in that Walmart Father's Day sale I was telling you about. Um, this is a couple that I've had my eye on for a very long time and uh, it's a show that people have been recommending to me for ages, but for whatever reason I just kept not seeing it. Um, I am of course talking about Gargoyles, the complete first season. Oh, and there's more. Gargoyles, the complete first half of the second season, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, this is as much as of the second season as they've released, so this is actually all that they've ever put out on DVD of Gargoyles. Yeah, th th as I say, this show was recommended to me uh, by pretty much everyone, especially being a huge fan of uh, stuff like Batman the Animated Series. Uh, a lot of my friends were saying, well, dude, you got to check out Gargoyles because it's, it's very much in the same kind of style but it's a little more sort of fantasy, you know, modern day fantasy type of thing. And uh, you're going to love it. It's dark and it's got a great story, great voice. It has a lot of the old uh, alumni from Star Trek The Next Generation do voices on it and stuff. And uh, yeah, but for whatever reason, I just kept missing it and just n never got around to checking it out. Uh, until a few years later, a friend of mine picked up the VHS release of the original five-part miniseries that kicked off the show. And then I finally did get to see some of it. And honestly, it's so long ago since I saw that that I don't really remember much about it. I just remember liking it. And uh, yeah, so anyway, when the DVDs came out, I obviously wanted to pick them up. But I just, again, just never got around to it. I guess just not being a fan of the show from way back, it just wasn't something that I felt compelled to rush out and get. So I would essentially be blind buying it. Now, given all the positive things I'd heard about it from friends and whatnot, I knew that it was a pretty safe blind buy. I just never got around to it. So anyway, found it at Walmart during the Father's Day sale. Ten bucks, ten bucks. That's right, ten bucks a piece. I can't remember what these originally went for, but I know it was more than ten bucks. <laughs> Yeah, so very cool. I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. It's really unfortunate that they haven't completed the set. Uh, sadly, that seems to be kind of the trend with a lot of Disney's television shows. Um, almost all of the major shows have some kind of release, and pretty much all of them are in limbo. Shows that are in limbo include DuckTales, Tailspin, Chippendales Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, Gummy Bears, and Gargoyles. All of which have one or two volumes out, and all of which just need one or two more volumes to complete the set. So, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Uh, apparently, they just did not sell well enough. Bottom line. So maybe at some point, they'll finish them up, maybe through some kind of, uh, like, manufacturer-on-demand service, kind of like what Warner does with a lot of their stuff and what uh, Nickelodeon's been doing for years with uh, Create Space through Amazon. Um, or maybe they'll sub-license to a company like Shout Factory. It would be awesome if Shout Factory could finish this up. Man, it'd be nice. Um, so just to, I guess, give you a quick look at it here. So this is the special 10th anniversary edition of the first season. It's very nice. I actually, I really like the covers on these. I think they did a, a beautiful job. And it's, it's a little bit shiny. You can see the, the gold uh, trim there is kind of, uh, has a little bit of sheen to it. And then if we open it up here, we, um, let me just straighten the discs a bit. There we go. Okay. So if you open up, there's, uh, there's no inserts, but there is, uh, two discs on a disc tray. So first season was 13 episodes. Uh, I guess technically it was eight episodes because you had the five part mini series, which kicked it off and then eight individual episodes on here. So anyway, this contains the complete first season and then season two, there's a look at the front. Season 2 was 52 episodes, which brought the total number up to the magic syndication number of 65. So, Season 1 would have been shown weekly, and Season 2 uh, onward, uh, Season 1 was worked into the Season 2 rotation, and then it was shown five days a week on a 13-week rotation, as was the norm for shows back then. It's really nice, uh, really nice artwork on this, actually. And here we have, uh, we actually have 
uh, a letter from supervising producer Greg Wiseman, where he talks about the uh, you know a little bit of behind the scenes info about the show, and uh, you know that he's excited that it's finally on DVD. Little did he know this would be the last DVD release, and it would never be completed. Well, never say never. Maybe it will be at some point. All right. So then, if we open it up here, we have the three discs. Uh, yeah, disc one, disc two on a, a double stack there, and disc three. So they basically just went with the standard digipacks, quite nice. And you have the episode listing on here. There are some extras. Season one has The Gathering of the Gargoyles, the original show pitch by Greg Wiseman, that's pretty cool, and audio commentary on the first five episodes. The original miniseries actually has commentary for the whole thing. So that's actually pretty nice, um, especially since a lot of Disney's other TV show sets are completely bare bones with no extras whatsoever. So definitely nice for Gargoyles fans there. You know, the irony of this is I know that after watching these DVDs, I'm very likely going to be a new Gargoyles fan and want the rest of it. So yeah, I'm kind of regretting having skipped out on it for so many years because now it's going to be a lot of fun tracking down the rest of it. But uh, anyway, let's see what we got for extras on Volume 2, or Season 2, Volume 1, rather. We have The Gathering of the Cast and Crew, Episode Introductions with Greg Wiseman, and Audio Commentaries. It doesn't specify how many audio commentaries are on here, but uh, but very nice. I mean, this this these two sets definitely seem to get a level of attention that a lot of Disney's other TV show sets didn't. So... Um, yeah, definitely going to enjoy checking these out and um, dread it ending before it should. Yeah. So there's, of course, the second half of Season 2 left to go, and then there's the, uh, the single-season follow-up series, The Goliath Chronicles, which followed. Um, I don't think that one ran very long. It was only like one season, I know that. And uh, I know it wasn't anywhere near as long as the main series. So, yeah, so fingers crossed. Hopefully at some point we'll, uh, we'll see those appear on DVD. Now, finally, this is, uh, this is a set that I've seen in bargain bins literally for years and was kind of curious about, but again, it was a show that I'd never really seen before, uh, and I was just kind of thinking, ah, well, you know, if I'm going to buy it as a blind buy, yeah, maybe I'll get it if it's cheaper, you know. Um, I am, of course, talking about Kong, the animated series. Uh, kind of loosely based on the old King Kong story. Basically what we have here is, uh, well, let me just read the back here. Uh, when the original Kong was shot down long ago, brilliant scientist Dr. Lorna Jenkins was at his side. Years later, Dr. Jenkins used Kong's DNA and a small amount of human DNA from her grandson, Jason Jenkins, to create a powerful new Kong. After moving to the mysterious hidden Kong Island, Dr. Jenkins also created a Cyberlink, enabling Jason and Kong to merge into a single powerful force. Mega Kong! Yeah, so it sounds like cheesy as hell, but um, pretty cool. So this actually came out in 2001, which I believe was a few years before Peter Jackson's Kong movie, uh, or King Kong movie. And yeah, so pretty cool. So basically, this is the complete series on two volumes. There's uh, 40 episodes total, um, and this contains all 40 episodes. There's 20 on this one, 20 on this one. So let's take a quick look at volume one. And there's the back, and inside there's two discs. So it's 10 episodes per disc, basically, which, which is fine. I mean, it's a dual-layered disc, and 10 episodes is about the threshold for where you want it in terms of keeping the quality up. This two-disc set thing here is actually a sticker that I'm going to try to remove. It was being a little tetchy. And there we go. But uh, but just, you know, browsing around the packaging here, I still haven't even watched a single episode of it, but uh, yeah, browsing around the packaging here, it basically looks like just good old-fashioned giant monster bashing fun. So you get Kong fighting, you know, snakes and dinosaurs and giant lions and stuff like that. So, pretty cool. And then finally, we also have Kong Return to the Jungle, which is uh, a movie. I think this might actually be the sort of a pilot movie that leads into the series. So I'm probably going to watch this one first. And uh, yeah, we'll check that out. Or maybe, maybe this doesn't fall. I have no idea where this falls into the continuity. Maybe I'll watch the series first and then I'll watch this. I don't know. Like I say, I really know nothing about this series. I just picked it up as a blind buy because I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, this I like. You notice that it's kind of clear on the cover. So you open it up and there's the disc inside. So it's actually see-through. See? 
Hi! Can you see me? Yeah, cheesy. Anyway, <laughs> so I just have the disc there and then some uh, some artwork behind it, I think. Yeah, so you get just a nice little bit of city artwork there. So you get Kong in the city there, and then the, uh, the box, and then you close it up, and then it's like he's in the jungle crashing out of his box. So, pretty cool. So, you're probably wondering, how much did you get this awesome collection of Kongness for? Ten bucks a volume, you're thinking, maybe? Probably, just to keep it the trend? No? Maybe less? Yeah, a little bit less. Thinking maybe five bucks a volume? Well, they were going for about five bucks a volume a while ago. I actually found these at Zeller's. In the one dollar bin. <laughs> One dollar, one dollar, one dollar. So all 40 episodes of the series, plus the movie, for three dollars. You want to talk about feeling not too bad about a blind buy? You know, I'm sure I'll like it because I enjoy giant monster action, but on the off chance that it sucks donkey balls, hey, I got it for three bucks. So I'm not too broken up about that. Yeah, so there we go. Not a bad little... Uh, stack of additions to the cartoon collection there. Got uh, all that has been released thus far of Gargoyles and the complete series of Kong, plus the Kong Return to the Jungle movie. So very cool. Alrighty, well that's it for the uh, sort of bargain DVD selections that I've picked up over the past little while. Um, some pretty good additions to the collection, definitely, and there's still sales going on all over town right now, so I think next payday I'll probably browse around a bit and uh, see what else I can find. I heard rumors that um, I think it was HMV also had the X-Men volumes going like two for twenty bucks, so ten bucks a piece. So I might swing by there on payday and see if uh, they have the last two volumes of X-Men so I can finish off that set. That would be nice. Alrighty, well that's it for me to you for now. So until next time, thanks for watching and sayonara.